So we've seen that if Anastasia has a stick of length four, four nanoseconds, and Beowulf is zipping along at a speed of two-fifths the speed of light, in his reference frame, the stick does not have length four, but has length of around 3.67. What about the other way around? What if Beowulf takes a stick and then Beowulf is zipping along with the stick? It's the same stick, same rest, uh, rest length of four. So now if Beowulf has the stick um, zipping along and Anastasia is watching, in Anastasia's frame, what is the length of the stick for her? So we're gonna analyze that situation um, using a little bit of algebra and also a two observer diagram. So we previously an analyzed the situation where Anastasia and a four nanosecond stick are at rest in Anastasia's frame and Beowulf zips by at a beta of uh, two fifths. So that's um, the analysis that's shown here. What I want to do now is analyze a slightly different situation. So Anastasia is at rest, Beowulf takes the stick and it's Beowulf moving again with the speed of two-fifths, but this time he has the stick with him. And what does um, Anastasia think for the length of the stick that's moving? Okay, so let's construct a space-time diagram for this situation. So as before, we'll have beta is two-fifths. As I go over two, up two, four, five, it's gonna be roughly this. So this is going to be my T prime axis. And then here I go over five, two, three, four, five, up two, that's going to be about that. All right, so now um, the stick is moving along with um, Beowulf. And so the world line for the stick is, um, or the ends of the stick, will be uh, here at one and at four. So let me, let me draw this rather than trying to say it, and I think it will be okay. All right, so let's see here. Can I have this? All right, so that's the left of the stick. We're gonna have to think a little bit about the right of the stick. Because what do we know? We know that the stick is four nanoseconds long, four units long, but that's in Beowulf's frame. So we're going to have to think about what four is, what an X of four is according to Beowulf. So we're going to have to think about how to calibrate this axis. And so to do that, we recall that, labels here, that we calibrate it with hyperbolas. So this Imagine a hyperbola that has a, when t equals zero, x is four, it's gonna go like that. So that would be x prime equals four. So I know that the right uh, of the stick goes through this point here, and it will be parallel. I hope I draw this sufficiently parallel, sure. Okay, so then this is going to be the right. So again, let me just say why that is. We know the stick has length four in Beowulf's frame, and we have to do this calibration business to figure out how um, where four is on the x primed axis. So um, let's see. Let me do. Let me do. Let me do one thing that'll be useful for later. So let's think quantitatively about how to calibrate this. Remember we've seen that um, delta x is gamma delta x prime. So that tells us, right, so this would be a delta x, a delta x of four. That's my delta x prime, four along this way, and I'd wanna know what does that correspond to in delta x? I need to multiply by gamma. And gamma, when beta is 2.5, um, gamma has a value of 1.09. Uh, 
We saw that in the previous video. You've seen that a bunch. So delta x is going to be 1.09 times 4 nanoseconds. And I don't have my calculator. Oh, yes, I do. My calculator was hiding. 1.09 times, oops, 1.09 times 4, 4.36. So that tells me that this value here is 4.36. But what we want to know is what that value is. I'm going to call this event A, this event B. So this distance between my fingers, that's the length that would be measured in the at-rest frame. So remember that length measurements have to occur simultaneously. So these events, maybe I'll go for origin, event O and event A, those are simultaneous in Beowulf's frame. They both have a T prime of zero, but they're not simultaneous in Anna's frame. This has a definitely a non-zero T. Um, but these two events, event O and event B, are simultaneous in Anna's frame. So we can see that in Anna's frame, the length of the moving stick is shorter. We might have thought it would be longer, but it's actually shorter. So this gives us a qualitative result, and it sure looks like it's going to be about 3.67. Um, all right, so again, the, the point of this video is to show that the length of the stick when it's moving in Anna's frame is less than 4. In the next video, I'll do a bunch of um, algebra and derive the result so we can see exactly what the um, formula is for the length of the moving stick in Anna's frame.